Hey, for New Zealand Film, good evening on Oscar Day. We're coming to you from the home of Lord of the Rings, the Embassy Theatre in Wellington. Now, the people here watch the ceremony live on the big screen. Some of the people, that is to say, were here at the Embassy Theatre, and when they sat there watching the screen at the Embassy, it felt like they were actually at the Kodak Theatre in Los Angeles. Some of the people standing behind me, uh, many more of the Lord of the Rings people have come from another a gathering on the other side of town. But what we're doing tonight is celebrating the achievements of our New Zealand filmmakers, those who made the 13 Oscar-nominated Lord of the Rings. And also on this extraordinary day that Craig won the Players' Championship. So, to Los Angeles, it was a great night for Richard Taylor, but a great night for all of the Lord of the Rings people. Richard Taylor is one of the founders of the now legendary Weta Workshop. Richard Taylor won two Oscars today, Best mess, Makeup and the Best Visual Effects. Now, with us here at the Embassy Theatre is Tanya Roger, Richard Taylor's partner. Good evening. Good evening, Paul. And in Hollywood, we've got Richard Taylor. Can you hear us, Richard? I can very much, and I can see, I can hear Tanya very well. Hello, darling. Hello, it's lovely to hear your voice. You sound very excited, and I'm so proud of you. And Thank also, you, and there's so standing sorry. on the right of, um, hang on, Richard, standing on your right is your mum, Jean, Richard, so I hope Jean can hear everything as well. Hello, That's Jean, great. I hope yeah, you're having... Saying... I hope you're having a lovely time over there, Jean. I'm so proud of both of you. Tan Tanya says hello, Mum. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. So, hello, Tanya. And, and, and my colleague, Gino Acevedo, behind me, who was head of prosthetics on the film. Well, Richard, we've got a team behind us, too. We've got some of the makeup people that obviously helped to make what it, what the film what it was. And just behind us, we have some of the people from Weta Workshop here tonight, too. And we've all been watching you. And we're so thrilled, so proud. <laughs> Al to Alan Lee, what an incredible treat, Alan. Thank you so much <laughs> to have us here tonight. But especially to you, Tanya, for not here with us. But uh, a great night for New Zealand filmmaking, that's for sure. That's right. I, I totally agree. And um, I just sit there in the Kodak Theatre and hear your name called out in the film you've been a part of for so long. More Oscars. I mean, four Oscars is a tremendous achievement. I'm not, I'm not downplaying that at all, Richard. But is there, is Peter disappointed or Peter happy? I, I haven't seen Peter. He's a great realist, but I want to get um, some impressions from Jean, Richard. I don't know if Jean is hooked up to an earpiece, but could you ask Jean what it's like to be a mum sitting in the hall there at the Kodak Theatre with some of the most famous names in the world, and her son walks up and gets not one but two Oscars. <laughs> Paul, I point out, Tanya, Richard, we're looking after, I want you to know, we're looking after Tanya tonight, because Tanya, you are due to have a baby in about... Uh, about three weeks. <laughs> and so everything went well today, wasn't too exciting, wasn't uh, you? It was a little bit exciting, but I managed to keep the excitement sort of level down, and uh, hopefully Richard will be back in time mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. big event. And so was... <laughs> Everybody that got the nominations got big cheers, but it was just special to, to hear the winners. So what you're going to be doing tonight, Richard, and Jean? Well... Yes, oh, very exciting going to Elton John's party. party. Anyway, I Richard, I've got to say another overstate. thing because your mum, your mum isn't on an earpiece issue, but I've got to tell you, we've got we've got a famous mum there standing with you in Los Angeles, and we have another famous mum. His first ever tournament win as a pro golfer, and he won two and a half million New Zealand dollars. Richard, what do you think of that? So we have two. My best to everyone at the workshop, Mary, John, Jason, and the whole team. Same from us. Thank you. <laughs> Go Kiwi indeed. Happy New Zealand is standing there with Oscars. Four Oscars won by Lord of the Rings today. Uh, now, before they left for the Kodak Theatre, which incidentally didn't it look the most marvellous place to be holding a ceremony, and before the New Zealanders left for the Kodak Theatre to give them some spirit to remind them of home, to let them know how much we were going to be thinking of them and how pleased we are that they made Lord of the Rings here in New Zealand, here in Wellington. We asked a Hakka group living in Los Angeles to perform for the New Zealanders before they left. This from Lisa Owen in Los Angeles earlier today. A feeling, did, he, did he have a feeling at all about this tournament? He said it was, when he rang me on Thursday, he said it was a very difficult um, tournament. The, the course was very hard, the hardest he's ever played on. And if you didn't get, if you didn't hit it straight, you're out of the tournament as quick as that. You're a history. Are you a golfer yourself? Sort of. 
play a bit of golf? Yes. When did he start playing golf? When he was 10. 10 years old. And you're a midwife. I am. In fact, you were going to be doing a C-section today. I did. This had to be delayed. Yeah, well, Because that, of the hands. No. <laughs> I wasn't doing it. I was the midwife. I wasn't the surgeon. No, no, I understand. I understand. But, um, yes, yes. I no, I understand these things. I mean, even though it's women's things, I do understand that. Yes, yes. Anyway, so... You had to have it delayed. Yeah, well, luckily the, pedi away from me. Yes. luckily the paediatrician had something else to do, and so it was postponed till this afternoon, so I got to watch him. So Craig lives in... Lafayette in Louisiana. And the baby today got called... Felicity Lu Lu Louisa. Louisa. <laughs> Louisa. <laughs> Louisiana, after Louisiana. Uh, it was going to be named Craig, but it was a boy. It was, well, if it was a boy. Can, can you remember what you were doing when, when, you, when you watched him chip that... that in, into the hole there, the, the, the final hole. I, mean, I, I thought he'd, well, I, on the 15th hole, I thought he'd lost the tournament because he'd had a couple of bad putts. And then he had a massive eagle, and we thought he was in the running again. Then he had a good birdie on the 17th, which is a terrible hole. And we started to get excited again. He had a two-shot lead, and then he did a terrible, terrible tee shot into the woods. And that's what I wanted to stop watching. You thought it's all over, Rover. Yeah. That's right. Has he had a struggle? He's he's plotted. He's plotted from, from he's plotted from the early time, and, and he's and he's kept going. He's never gone back. He's kept going up. How many kids he got? He's got two children: a lovely girl, Megan, and a little boy, Nigel, named after my so other son. Right. How old are they? Megan's five, and Nigel's just turned three. He'll be four this year. And Craig's wife's name is Maury. Very happy people. We've been trying to get hold of Craig Gordon. You haven't even spoken to him yet, have you? No. Uh, but but we, we, we can't get through to him. He's on the blower there. He's obviously fielding calls from around the world. But I'd like to present you with um, with a golf Oscar. See the golf Oscar. Look, I'll have a look here. See, there's even a little Oscar sort of in the middle there, do you see? And on top is the golf Oscar. So you are the winner of Golfing Oscar Mump. <laughs> You win the Oscar for Proud Mum today, Dawn Poo. Is, is this for me or for Craig? It's for you. It's for me. It's thank your you. golfing Oscar for Proud Mum, for, 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 for being the top mum. Yeah, thank you very, very much. So wonderful achievements today by New Zealanders Craig Perks in Florida. Unbelievable, but true. Two and a half million dollars to the better in such a career ahead of him still. And a wonderful day too for Lord of the Rings. Not the day that some of us hoped might have been, but they seem happy enough, don't they? Four Oscars for the New Zealand made film Lord of the Rings. And as Philip says to us, two more of the Lord of the Rings movies to come. From the Embassy Theatre in Wellington, those were our people today. That's Holmes tonight.